so trans investigators, uh, you know those uh, crazies who think that they can somehow identify someone as being trans based on uh, certain uh, features, apparently, because, you know, all people of a particular kind are the same, or something like that. I don't know. Uh, I've never been able to... I've always been able to differentiate uh, Eddie Murphy from George Carlin, even though they're both men, so... <laughs> I don't really understand what they're talking about, but the thing is, I can't even tell when someone's trans. And keep in mind that I am trans myself, so you'd think I know this, but I, I, it's comical how many times I have gotten this wrong. Like I've confused so many cis people for being trans and so many trans people for being cis it's not it's almost not funny <laughs> uh like there was this one time where i saw this woman uh, i thought she was cis based on you know these uh shitty media so saying oh if you like that if you look like that then you must be a well i don't really say cis because they're can lives and we'll just go biological and just some shit like that. But that's another topic. Uh, the thing is, this woman had that, so based on what the media told me, I thought she was a cis woman. But then I saw that she had one of these! And when I saw that, I was like, yeah, there is no way in hell you're cis, honey. So, uh, so, aside from the fact that we should learn never to trust journalists, I can now confidently say that those trans investigators will never be able to stop my evil plan.